Hey everyone, it's Jackie with Paper Moments here to share with you a folio that I created using my Mind's Eye Gingham uh, Farm collection, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I've had this for a couple of months and been wanting to get something made with it, and so um, I finally did. Um, this collection is still available in Tamara's uh, Country Craft Creation creations.com online store um, so hurry on over and grab you some because I'm telling you it is absolutely gorgeous so I use the 12 by 12 I use the 6 by 6 pad uh, some flowers that uh, I was sent some ribbon uh, beautiful I love that uh, ribbon plaid ribbon I also used uh, some of the enamel dots the photo, uh, the journaling cards, the two-sided journaling cards, the wood pieces from the collection, and also the ephemera pack. Um, so you can see I still have a lot left, and I have one more project that I think I can get. I don't have that much paper as far as the uh, 12 by 12. I only have a couple of two sheets left, but uh, I think I've got enough for a project or two uh, that I can get made. So hopefully I can get that done. And I also use uh, the chipboard pieces from the collection as well. So here's what I created. Now this is a 5x7 folio. And for the top, I just used some of the designer paper. And as you can see, the flowers, the paper flowers, the ribbon. Uh, this is a ch from the chipboard uh, collection. This also is a chipboard. This is one of the stickers here, the enamel dots. And then what I did was I just cut a piece of chipboard, uh, kind of cut it in a little weird shape, uh, covered it with some more of the beautiful paper, and then just uh, put it on top just to kind of give it some dimension. So um, it's a one and a half inch spine, and then there's the back, and again, the other, the third, second spine. So this opens up. And it unfolds like this. So you've got three different sections on it. So we're going to start at the top section just so you can kind of get an idea. So I used one of the uh, journaling cards that says family there and then one of the wood pieces because I just love that little house. And this flips open like this. And let me see if I can get a piece of flat card stock here so we can see the different areas that I've left open. So, so this is part of the ephemera pack, so I left that open and for the photo mat you can add a photo there. And then I also left this one open here and this is another piece from the ephemera pack. And that for a photo this could be for journaling here. This folds over, and again, another area for a photo with a photo mat. Uh, I didn't put anything on this here, but I just love that. And then I use this little thing from the uh, ephemera pack as well. And this you can use for journaling and a nice area for a photo there. This flips open, and you've got some more of the gorgeous paper and a photo mat and one of the... Uh, hearts from the ephemera pack. This is just a plain uh, paper where you can add your photo there. And that folds over to open up to remove that. And again, I left that open so you can add a photo there. And then this is just plain. I left this with the paper showing and it would make a beautiful area for a photo of it. I don't know what size that is. It's a four by five and a half. So there you go. You can cut your four by sixes down and put your uh, four by uh, five and a half uh, photo there. So that folds over, this comes back over, and this comes over, and then this folds over. So that's your top part. Then you have your spine here, which I didn't do anything with because I just the paper's just too pretty to cover up. So the middle section um, is one of the chipboard pieces. And I actually put a photo, the photo mat on here, and I double uh, backed it with some of the black artesian cardstock. That my whole uh, album and the card is covered in the uh, artesian cardstock that you can find at Country Craft Creations online store. 
This is just one of the stickers that I put on back on some cardstock and then just made a little tag there. So there's a photo there. This opens up and again another area for a photo and I know I left this open. I think I did anyways. No, uh, a little bit, not much, but enough that you can get a photo in there. So that's that. And then this one comes over, and again, another ephemera piece that I left open so you can stick your photo in there. This folds opens up like that to make my back side. Another area with a photo mat here. And then this is your uh, larger photo with a piece of the uh, chipboard here that. I've left open so you could put in um, a four by mm, uh, probably a three by five card uh, picture there. Uh, then this lifts up, and I'm going to bring this down. So you have two more photo mats. This flips up, and then you have a small pocket with some of the journaling cards in here. And these are double uh, double sided, so. There's so many options with that. Again, two more photo mats. That flips down. This flips an area here for a larger photo. Again, this could be another four by five and a half area for a photo. And then this flips down, and you have another area again for a four and a half by five photo. Two three by five uh, photo mats here. And this opens up, and again, another uh, photo mat area, and just a piece of the ephemera there, and a, another area that you can add some journaling on here. And then these open up, and this has a pocket that I put in a, a couple of the a couple of the journaling cards here. And that goes right in there. And you can add photos to the back of those or do journaling. You can also journal on this right here. Left this blank for another photo area here. And then uh, you can even tuck a little picture in there because I left that open too. So a little small picture there. Uh, again, a nice area for a nice large photo here. So lots of photos in this uh, book. And again, uh, another area for a smaller photo, a larger photo here. These are open here, so you can even do that. And then again, a pocket with three more journaling cards, uh, double-sided journaling cards. So. All right, so this folds up. Okay, this folds down. This comes over like that, this folds in, and then it comes over this way. Okay, and then the bottom half, and I'm going to fold this down just so it can be easier. I just made a cascading waterfall, uh, and it's a vertical one, so it just opens up to, and it gives you plenty of room. There's six waterfalls here, and then you've got your bigger piece here. And these are all four by fives. So they will hold a nice waterfall. I added some of the wood chips here that I just love, and this would be a perfect place to put a photo right there. So, and that is uh, my album. I uh, hope you enjoy uh, the uh, tutorial for how to make the uh, folio album is avail available on my YouTube channel. Uh, and I do have a cutting guide at the bottom of the description on the tutorial video. Thanks for joining me. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.